Hi there, a warm welcome to Sky Sports News and we're going to start with some big, big breaking news tonight on the transfer front. It's Liverpool who've been waiting to get their man and now they have him. Yes, they do. Darwin Nunes is a Liverpool player. The club have confirmed it. It is a massive signing. Here's what we know. The player has signed a six-year contract. It's an initial fee of £64 million, pounds, rising to a potential £85 million if he reaches every milestone during his time Ranging from scoring goals to winning the Champions League, it's likely Benfica will at least hit the 75 million mark as long as he plays regularly, Joe. Yeah, and if he were to get to 85 million pounds with all the, the various add-ons, that would make him Liverpool's record signing. So, Darwin Nunes is officially a Liverpool player from Darwin to Darmish, who is here, <laughs> Darmish Chef, to, to take us through this. Good evening to you, uh, Darmish. Five million pounds worth of reporter right, right there. Right there, yes. Including add-ons. <laughs> <laughs> um, Darmish, I mean, j just take us through this. You know, the day after Manchester City announced the signing of Erling Haaland, over to you, Liverpool, and, the, and they, they've announced a big deal of their own. This is a real statement signing. It was one that we were expecting, of course. Uh, he's been having his medical over the past couple of days. As you mentioned, £64 million rising to £85 million. It does represent Liverpool's club record transfer. Now, he did score against Liverpool in both legs of the Champions League in the round of 16 in last season's competition. And I just think the, the statement is in the speed of which they've done this. We're barely a week into this new transfer window. We were talking about Erling Haaland yesterday, mm -hmm. and now, just the day later, we're talking about Liverpool really making their intentions clear ahead of next season. I think everyone was wondering, with Salah turning 30 tomorrow, Firmino already in his 30s, Sadio Mane already in his 30s, how Liverpool were going to eventually replace these three players, or evolve that squad, especially that front three. And look what they've done. Diogo Jota's come in. Luis Diaz came in in January. And now Darwin Nunes coming in from Benfica. It looks like they've got a ready-made replacement <laughs> front three already. How ominous is this for the rest of the Premier League, given we saw Holland sign yesterday for Manchester City? Those two have already started to separate themselves from the rest. Now Nunes signs. It's not unexpected, but you know the fact it's come the day after Holland. It says these big two are kind of moving uh, away. I it? think it's very, very ominous for the rest of the league, and I think it almost reminds me a little bit of when Manchester United were at their pomp. Sir Alex Ferguson would always, in a summer transfer window, just evolve his squad. It was never revolution with regard to Manchester United. Once they got themselves in a position of power and strength and dominating the Premier League. It would always be, we'll let one or two players go and then we'll bring in one or two statement signings as well. What uh, Liverpool and Manchester City are doing now as well. So Liverpool, there will be a few departures. We know that Divock Origi is going. We know that uh, Minamino may go. There's, there's talk of Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain going as well. But those were players who were on the fringes of that Liverpool squad. They've kept the main... Uh, players in their squad aside of Sadio Mane and how much of a knock-on effect will this have on that deal? Of course, we know that Sadio Mane is interesting Bayern Munich. They've already had a bid rejected. That one you would expect to accelerate sooner rather than later with Bayern Munich expected to go in with a higher offer now that Liverpool have got Darwin Nunes in that squad. Yeah, Nunes, a Uruguayan international, of course. Liverpool have had a Uruguayan striker before. <laughs> yes. He did all right on the pitch, didn't he? Uh, first quotes attributed to him have appeared on the Liverpool website, uh, talking about being a pleasure to be in Liverpool. He says he's very happy to be a part of this great club. He's played against Liverpool. We saw that in the Champions League, didn't we? It's my style of play, he says. There are some great players here. I think it's going to suit my style of play here. It wasn't necessarily a given that he was going to go to Anfield, though, because there was other interest from the Premier League, wasn't there? Yes, I or mean, was there? <laughs> it, it's been painted in one way that Liverpool have beaten Manchester United. It's a great headline, isn't it? Liverpool have beaten Manchester United to Darwin Nunes. The information that I've got, that, that's not strictly true. I, I'm told, look, Manchester United are in the market to improve their forward line, not necessarily to bring in an out-and-out -out number nine. After all, they've got... Cristiano Ronaldo playing in that central striking role and, and he's done all right in the past few years, hasn't he? So I don't think it was as simple as Manchester United were after him but he chose Liverpool over Manchester United. I think United did look at Darwin Nunes. He was one of the players that they were thinking, shall we go for Darwin Nunes? But I think their interest waned very, very quickly, not because simply because of Liverpool's interest and they, that they didn't want to lose face by losing out, in inverted commas, to Liverpool. Mm. But more, they lost interest at the price being quoted for Darwin Nunes because 
as it stands, Manchester United, their number one priority is in central midfield. And if they are going to go out and spend close to £90 million all in on a central striker, how much would that leave for their number one priority position? So I think they're weighing various things up here at United. So people can look at it in, in a headline and say, oh, Liverpool have picked United. I don't think that was strictly the case because I think United, their interests had long gone once they realised this was how much it was going to cost and how much they would lose out on primary targets, for example, Frankie de Jong from Barcelona. Uh, Liverpool calling this hashtag Darwin Day on their social media <laughs> um, channels. He's wearing the number 27 in the picture uh, on their, their Twitter account. That was Divock Origi's, I think, so uh, that would seem to suggest he will be 27 uh, in the season ahead. Dar uh, Darmish, we <laughs> no, Darwin, I've done it again. <laughs> Darmish, we'll leave you there, but thanks very much indeed for, for all that information. Uh, it is subject to a work permit and international clearance. We should just uh, stress that, but Liverpool saying they're delighted to announce the signing of Darwin Nunes from Benfica. Much more on that with us throughout the evening and also uh, you can check out more detail on our digital platforms too.